Welcome back to PerformanceParts.com. One of the most popular models with performance parts today is the pony cars. Everybody's wanting to do the little add-on, the addition. There's not a whole lot you can do, but there is a lot you can do. Hearst has some really cool new products that's available for the pony cars. We're going to start with this Mopar here and show you what you can do. One of the things that Dodge did is as they retroed back with this car to early model, they did a great job on the outside body styling. One of the things that they lacked on the inside was to be able to match the classic muscle car look of the 70s. What we've got today is, is two new products by Hearst. One of the products is the comp shift stick, which will give it that Hearst feel and look back to the original styling. And on the other side, you're stepping into the new era with the paddle shift assembly for the steering wheel. So let's get started and see what this makes the inside look like now. Now, the real cool part about the comp stick kit that's supplied by Hearst as you can see, the kit is all metal, not plastic like was used in the car from the factory. It upgrades it to the heavy duty aluminum. It also has the, the Hearst shift stick in the kit, the classic shift ball. We're gonna see, but it looks to be a very simple install. And then also, for all you car guys, the cool Hearst badges. Another way to distinguish your car from the other guy. The other part of the install we're going to be putting in for the paddle shift kit that installs in the car on the steering wheel. The design is very friendly to the installer. Not a ton of wires to run. It's all done through this unit here. So we'll see how hard this install is too. Okay, the first step in the process of installing the new shifter. We have to make sure that the car is on level ground. Uh, you need to be able to get the vehicle moved into neutral position and you will have an annoying beeping sound going off while you do the install unless you disconnect the battery. First what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up prying the chrome trim ring down so we'll be able to remove the shifter and then what we'll end up doing from that point is, is we'll be moving into taking and, and install, prying this part up to be able to install the new billet piece of aluminum that has all the cool Hearst shifter designs on it. So let's go ahead, we'll go and start moving and get started on the end. 